Oh, well, hey. Here we are. It's amazing to see you in <laughs> grace the presence of HQ again. Well, you know, sometimes you uh, take a little bit of a break because you're busy. Uh, we certainly did that yeah. uh, at your at your cost. Uh, so this is a slightly delayed December, and we apologize. We went through, obviously, the holidays. We got stuff out to you guys, but then we had back-to-back illnesses yeah um, I, had, real. I had Christmas COVID myself yeah. uh, and it was not fun we turned back around from that and then it's been like just a parade of uh, floods rainstorms power outages yeah. we've had a tough time getting back together to be able to kind of knock this out so we are you're gonna see we're not doing costume changes we're going straight we've got January also already bottled we're gonna go ahead and record those as well tonight so we can stay back ahead. But we apologize for the delay for the video for the, the, the shipments that you guys got here probably about two and a half weeks ago. So uh, th there's a lot for us to cover. Um, yeah. we, we started a little early today watching a couple NFL games. We did, some great games. There was some great games. Uh, I, I think by the end of video four, you're gonna notice you will, yes. <laughs> uh, but but it is great to be back at it. It's good to get this off of uh, our, our to-do list. But more importantly, we hope that if you have not already had these these pours, that these videos kind of help fill the gaps and answer some questions. So, But uh, even if you have, yeah. um, I think you can go back and you know just kind of uh, take a look at, at what you thought originally and, and compare it to what we're doing. And, Absolutely. So Fox and Pheasant Group, we started off this month with uh, our first offering from the state of Colorado. That's right. So our, our first one that's outside. A year and a uh, half Kentucky. into this. And, yeah. uh, and well, not Kentucky. We've had some Tennessee. We've had True. some True. MGP. We've had yeah. California. Uh, we just haven't had Colorado. We have not. And Old Elk is a lot of places right now. Like you can see, I mean, Old Elk is blowing up. They're out of Fort Collins, Colorado. The juice that you're drinking right now is not necessarily their juice. They have been blending for some years now, founded by uh, the guy who started Otterbox mm, back in 2013. Right. And uh, they, they actually broke ground and built their distillery in Fort Collins in 2019. But that's obviously young juice. They're not really, they might be blending with some of it now, but that's not what you're most likely drinking. You're drinking... The, uh, the master distiller that joined forces with them was an old distiller from MGP. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're probably, probably you're getting, it. You're getting yeah. a lot of that juice. They are actually bringing juice from Indiana, of course, uh, Colorado, and New York to make their blends. So a uh, little, bit, little bit of different uh, product there. This was a bottle that I've seen. Look, the one thing about El Old Elk is all the bottles are the same. Mm -hmm. So you walk by and you might not really know what you're looking at yeah. because they all look just like this pretty much. And that doesn't mean that the juice is all the same. Uh, it's hard to decipher because, it, I mean, you really have to look at the label and really pay attention to you know, yeah. what it's saying because it's, it's, it, it does all look the same. So this was one that we, you, I think you found it and took yeah. a picture and said, what is this? Like, you know, is this a thing? And we instantly both knew something was different about it. It is a single barrel, barrel proof, although they don't say it. It's just that it's at 114.7%. So it's, it's barrel proof. Yeah. Weeded, limited selection to the Costco's of California. Yeah. And we instantly just went like, well, I mean, even at Costco, it wasn't cheap, you know, as no. whiskeys go, uh, you know, but it was just all those, all yeah. those things combined when you start getting like a heavily weeded yeah. and when we say heavily weeded, we'll get to that in a second. The mash bill on this particular guy is crazy. Uh, the, but a heavily weeded barrel proof Colorado whiskey, limited selection only to California. We're like, that's. Again, checking a lot of the boxes of stuff that we want to provide to the Fox and Pheasant, which is you're not going to find this again. Yeah. So why don't we try it while we got it? Correct. Um, correct. correct. <laughs> uh, uh, so what makes Old Elk unique? Um, there are a couple things. One, this particular blend is the wheat percentage. Mm -hmm. So this is a 51% corn. So they bring it just over the limit of becoming a bourbon. So 51%, 45% wheat. Yeah. 
and then just a few percent malted barley from there to make to make the whiskey and round that out. Uh, they also, I think, I read they they use like a red winter wheat as well. They do. Um, Matter of fact, they have a straight wheat. Yeah, they have a straight. They have wheat. a straight wheat that's. I mean, I I don't know if I've ever had a straight wheat. We have before. once. Uh, we had it at the California distillery making that weeded whiskey that we stopped and had the distillery out. Oh, in. that is right. Uh, Petaluma. No, it was, um, what's the other town that's out that way? Uh, there, there's a smaller yeah, town yeah, okay. that's out that way. That it was around that area, but yeah. I, okay, you're right. One uh, of our getaway weekends. That's right. That's right. <laughs> One of our uh, bourbon hunting weekends. Yeah, but yeah. we but we did have a distillery that had a full weeded bourbon. We've, we've got a bottle, or you've got a bottle, right? We, we've got some stuff from them, so. Regardless, let's, let's wind that back in. The other thing they do is... A slow proof process, mm -hmm. a slow cutting, mm -hmm. and for all you guys know, uh, whenever a whiskey is cut from the barrel proofing, they typically add water at the end to bring it down to the proof that they want, and that's done kind of all at once, 24 to 48 hours, they cut it down with water to bring it to the proofing that they think expresses the, 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 the whiskey the best way. And very few people do this slow cut thing, and they, I don't know if they have trademarked it. I'm not sure. They are definitely mm -hmm. they are definitely advertising it as this is something that they do, mm -hmm. um, and and they say that slow cutting it with water over a much longer period of time, several weeks, um, preserves some of the chemical structure of the actual whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm not a chemist. I don't know. What I can tell you is that <coughs> the end result is supposed to be a softer, um, a little more velvety kind of te uh, texture. Um, and for 114 proof, and obviously the high wheat probably also assists with that softness, mm -hmm. um, but this is a really easy drinking 114 proof. It really was. Um, yeah. it, it also has some slightly different notes uh, of a lot of barrel proof bourbons that we have, which is, you know, they're usually like bombs of caramel and that vanilla. And there's some vanilla in here, but it turns into uh, a slightly different kind of um, like vanilla ice cream versus just vanilla, right? So. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna pour a little bit here, and we're gonna get back to the revisit. <coughs> we, we haven't opened this in weeks yeah. since we actually did the first tasting and bottling. I'm excited to try it again. Uh, by the way, uh, everybody, just out there, we hope that if you are local, everybody's safe. Um, yeah. You know that you haven't been. Uh, ask to leave your house, that you've got power, like all the things. We hope you also had an amazing holiday. Um, I wish I could say mine was amazing. My Christmas <laughs> Eve was great. My Christmas day was pretty good. Uh, from that point on through New Year's and on, it was an it was absolute rough. shit show. Yeah, yeah so. it was rough. So. Um, and, you know, good news is California is no longer in a drought. That, that is absolutely true. Excuse me real quick. I'm going to do something so I can read. Um, oh, yeah, boy. Which I wasn't sure we'd see in our lifetime. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, by the way, if you guys, you'll never be able to see it, but we uh, we kind of keep some notes on the ground right here just as we go through to remember some tasting notes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, of what Not we, that I can see it. But yeah, yeah. Of what we told you at least. Uh, so I'd like to revisit that. Meanwhile, but we couldn't read it. So I had to kind of like blow it up a little bit. So. Um, so let's let's get this guy going uh, again. So first distillery from Colorado again great whiskey can come from anywhere now and uh, We're excited to kind of bring a different Perspective and a different sourcing of whiskey to the Fox and Pheasant group. So So again uh, some light toffee uh, yeah. vanilla ice cream vanilla. Yeah, 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 and I, I think the thing for me that the softer wheat the finish there is a bit more of a floral finish than there is that oak. You know, obviously a lot of that stuff that's barrel proof and things that haven't been cut, we get a lot of spicy oak, wet oak, um, dry oak. You know, we kind of talk about that a lot. There's not a lot of oak to this. No. Like in the actual... No, there's really not. Uh, yeah. It's unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the nose is very unique. Mm -hmm. different, different from a lot of the bourbons that, that we sample. 
So, and then as you get into it, I'm going to see what they said, what I, I said, what I said in the first part. I said cream vanilla, and I do remember this about it too. Uh, there is uh, a bit of a toasted almond finish on the initial taste. So, less vanilla finish, more of an almond. Which I've realized I like a lot. Um, I think our, our old Forster single barrel, that was a lot of almond. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think Stellum produced mm -hmm. some almond when we first went through that one. Are you a little butterscotch? Okay. Yeah. Um, for not having a lot of malted barley, I feel like that's kind of the <clears throat> back of the throat that I get, but it could just be, again, the red the red wheat that you're not used yeah, to getting a lot of. Um, I am remembering why we add a cube to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but but for 114 proof, yeah. I, I can sip this like a regular bourbon and you know it just does it's not it it's not a, as as hot as as I remember it uh, or some of the other 114s that we've had. Uh for a tasting note, when you say I don't get almond, um after you have finished your first sip. And you allow, and then taste uh, after that. Yeah, that's for that almond. And and that that's where yeah. I'm getting it. Like yeah. so, as soon as I started yeah. talking, yeah, not necessarily in 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 the actual you know consumption of it, but it's just really up that aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's where yeah. I'm getting that little bit of toasted almond. So kind of a cool way of tasting additional layers to whatever it is. Is let some you know let your breath out or speak afterwards you know you're talking a little bit and it just letting that kind of come back through and across your palate you start to get some more delicate layers of the flavor so um yeah like so it. so the finish again I, I got a little bit of like uh i think i said wild some wild a uh, mild oak clove clove is where i kind of do that heat mm -hmm. um the mouth feel for me is not too dissimilar from the uncut and unfiltered Booker's, yeah, which is the a high a viscosity, point. a little bit of oiliness, but this one's a little bit creamier, and I think that's why on the front end yeah. of the finish I said cereal milk, you know, because you've got that grain note up front, and then that creaminess that kind of well, it's even a little oily like in the glass, like when you're looking at you know kind of swishing it around. It really is mild on yeah. the nose. Mm -hmm. um, it smells like it's going to be it's, it, something you can crush. Absolutely, and and you know from the very first pour to right now, um, it's softened. You know, and the, when I first when I first hit the nose, it was um, I don't know I don't know if it was a medicinal kind of smell that I was mm. that I was smelling on. I don't know if it's just the glass, but no, the, the glasses are glasses were yeah. pretty blank. I smelled them before we started, but. So. Um, no, it's it's a smooth one fourteen. Uh, I mean, Old Elk obviously has you know a lot of different variations, but I, I think this this we did. I would be interested to try the straight wheat. I think that yeah. if, if we were able to get a hold of that, I, I don't know if it's readily available. I've never seen it out anywhere. Um, I I think from time to time they they do have that available at like a total wine. But I was pretty excited when I saw it in Costco because I've seen Old Elk before. They carry Old Elk. I mean, they, they have a, a relationship, uh, obviously, with this distiller. But uh, the fact that this was a Costco pick, um, you know, it is a one-off. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's a, it's obviously, you know, the ABV, uh, ABV is, is much higher um, than any of the other Old Oaks that I've seen. I, I don't know if, I, if they have anything yeah. that's over 114. And I, here's what's crazy is I don't even... I, they don't even call it like a barrel proof. No, but it it they, it, 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 it it is a barrel it is, proof. It is. It, it is, is a barrel proof. proof. So it's a single barrel. Uh, it's aged six years. Um, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, but it's a six year, with uh, meaning again, and for all you guys, if uh, forgive me, but if you're new to this, if you joined recently, six years simply means it's the that is the youngest thing that's in it, right? So they can blend it with other things, but there's nothing younger than six years that is in it. I think there's straight wheat they do in a six and a nine. 
and it would be interesting to try the nine year straight yeah. wheat. Um, and, and maybe they do this in a nine two, I don't know. Look at you. I have to do a little bit of research. Look at you. I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Look, Look at you. Six and a nine. Look, Look at you with your nugget. Hey, there you go. Now every every, every, every dog has its dick. I also know you well enough to not believe it. Like you Oh well be, I can prove it. You I, could be making Actually it up. We, uh when we're done with this video, I'll I'll bring it up for him so that he can see. Well, I'm sure you looked it up yeah. while I was setting up That's the right. camera. And so that's why you know. My quick research. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh, well, guys, um, this is a again. It's it is it's the winter. I like to bring things that are a little bit higher proof. Things that you're going to sit around in the snow, around a yeah. fire, um, in the evening. Uh, adding a cube to this really opens it up and softens it a lot. I think that's where a lot more of that almond comes from. A lot more of that creaminess will really open up with an ice cube. So if you are pouring this for the first time, certainly get your sip uh, from your first pour, get the nose. Always remember, two sips. That first sip's gonna blow your roof off no matter what. You need a couple sips to calm your brain down, stop sending pain signals. You can actually start to taste things. But if cube is gonna really open and bloom this guy and uh, you're gonna start to get some of that vanilla ice cream versus just vanilla and that, that uh, cereal milk versus just I'm getting wheat. So. And our goal really is, you know, we say it's a one-off, but if you're here in California, um, you know, Costco's carrying this all over and we want to get it to you in real time so that when you're out and about, I know there's probably plenty of Costco heads out there like oh. myself that, <laughs> sure. uh, that, that, that are there probably on a weekly basis. Well, and, and they carry their regular around. stuff. So the they biggest, the biggest yeah. thing is if you're into, if you like it, know that you can get the, their regular cut version almost anywhere, right? Like, so um, their their other weeded bourbon is a slightly lesser wheat. Yes. You know, they don't have that that percentage in all of their wheats. Um, but if you start to like this mash bill and this grain and this blending and you start to like what they're doing, it's cool to see what they're doing now and to think about what they're going to be doing um, three, four, five years from now. Sure when they're gonna be predominantly switching to their own juice that they're distilling. The other thing that's cool is is that for most of you, and, and for myself in particular, um, you know, I was really stuck on, you know, Kentucky straight bourbon, um, whiskeys, you know, from Kentucky period and maybe Tennessee. But we had the, the opportunity to, to not just, you know, showcase uh, Indiana MGP, but also California and now Colorado, like you had pointed out. Um, and I, I kind of forgot that we'd, We've hit so many states now to a certain degree. We haven't done New York, although there's juice from New York in well, us. Funny you say that. Yeah. Funny you say that. Fast forward to February, mm -hmm. and you guys will be enjoying our first New York whiskey. Right. Yeah. So we're we're trying to bring you a lot of different flavors, um, and whiskey has just exploded throughout the nation. Good shit is good yeah. shit, and good stuff is good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, so guys, yeah, appreciate uh, you. Please enjoy. Um, we really appreciate your patience. Um, we are, uh, we're looking forward to now uh, a really, really fun 2023. Um, I think we've got, I think we said this last year a little bit, but was, look, we really finished our first year doing this yeah. um, towards the end of this last year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and while we have gotten used to sending whiskey and making videos of it, uh, there is without question the conversation for us now, of like what's really next and what are we going to do with this? And uh, this is the year for us to start taking some steps forward. So we're looking forward to it. Happy New Year Happy to New you year. all, uh, even though this is December 4th. Uh, and we will uh, we'll come back around to that Happy New Year mentality on the next uh, video. So right. cheers, cheers and uh, enjoy Old Elk single barrel Costco Select barrel proof weeded bourbon. Very good. <laughs> Fantastic. All right.